Hello. 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 All, how are you guys today? Welcome, welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. Monday morsels. Whoop, whoop. How are you all doing? I am getting ready to open a talking cedar raspberry blonde. This may not be my first one. I'm just going to throw it out there. Good golly. Good Lord. I'm a hot mess. Every day, every day I'm a hot mess. It's like the older I get, the more little these little wings I get. I think it maybe it's because my hair is breaking. I don't really know. But I didn't pin it down, so it's okay. It's all right. Hello, Miss Sue. How are you? Cheers. Cheers, you guys. And again, if you missed it, it is a Talking Cedar Raspberry Blonde. This weekend, I had a birthday lunch with my lovely friend Leah and my lovely friend Miss Jenna Flea. And they took me to Talking Cedar, which apparently was maybe Heritage Distillery. I'm not 100% sure. And I think Miss Leah told me that Jamie Foxx bought it and turned it into Talking Cedar. I, I don't really know the story, so I'm not going to pretend like I do. I'm not going to pretend. I promise. But cheers. Cheers anyways. This one was really good. It's funny because Jen and I have not seen each other in probably two years, and we both ordered the same thing. Because I guess once you're connected, you're always connected. Because that's, that's how we operate. That's how we operate. So... Today, we're going to do one of my sister's favorites, and I'm not going to even pretend to know what the hell I'm doing, um, but her, one of her favorites and one of her go-tos is armadillo eggs. If you do not know what an armadillo egg is, I have some jalapenos, which is why I'm getting gloves on. If you do not have gloves, do not fret. Please do not fret. Um, I'm only doing it because I'm kind of a bitch baby today. I'm not going to lie. I, I, let me back up for a minute here. I'm going to take you back to this morning, okay? I'm going to take you back to this morning. My car's been acting kind of weird since I went down to uh, the Grand Mound area this weekend. And um, I had to stop and get some gas in my car. And apparently I did not tighten down my gas cap enough. So my check engine light came on, and I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to get stuck down here, blah, 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 you know, just just the norms, right? So then I get into my car, when, when my check engine light is on, my remote start does not work. So now I've become one of those, one of those people. My remote, my remote start does not work, so I was kind of bent out of shape about that. So Zane and I went to go leave a little bit early this morning. Um... I'm a little fed up with this cold weather. I'm not very happy about the ice on my windows. In fact, I hate it. I even got mad and started kicking my center console to like try to jump start it because it's worked in the past, right? It's worked in the past. So I, I'm sorry, Zane, for mama throwing a little bitch baby fit, but I totally did it. I was so mad and so angry that, that my damn heater wouldn't work. And there's ice on my windows, so now I have to scrape the freaking ice off of my windows. Yeah, it was the most Mondayest of Mondays that I have had in a really long time. And I hate the ice, I hate the snow, and I feel like it's COVID's fault because we had two years of people not being on the road. So this is our repercussion for that. I'm just going to pause. Because I need a sip after that. Yeah. So, anyways, anyways, I threw a bitch baby fit, and I was mad, and my heater still is not working, but it's okay, because this afternoon it was nice and warm, which makes me happy, but it does not make me happy for the things that are to come in the morning. Did you get that all? Did you guys get that all? I hope so. All right, so, back to what we're actually doing for Monday Morsels. We are making some armadillo eggs. If you do not know what an armadillo egg is... I'm going to tell you right now. Just be patient. One moment. All right, so I have some jalapenos, which if you know me, you know these bad boys were in the freezer. I just sliced the tops off of them, and I scooped out all of the seeds so they're, they're seedless. If you like the seeds and you want the heat, keep them in there. <coughs> I don't judge. I'm not judging. I'm not the one. I have some garden vegetable cream cheese. I'm going to do a little mixture because... I'm feeling kind of saucy, honestly. We're going to do 
Well, each one of these little containers is like eight ounces. I, I'm only going to make six of these because I know Zane is not going to be very happy. He's currently napping, so yeah, he won't be very happy with me. And he doesn't like either one of these kinds of cream cheeses anyway, so. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been having this itchy throat and these, these eyes that feel like there's sand in there. I don't know what it is about getting older and getting allergies, but I might throw a bitch baby fit about that too. Just saying. All right, so we got some vegetable cream cheese and some regular cream cheese. And then I'm going to add, and I didn't do the whole container because I know I don't really have a ton of jalapenos here. I'm going to add just a little bit of Mexican style blend. Whatever cheese you have on hand, I'm sure it's fine. Armadillo eggs apparently originate in Texas. Um, so that's kind of cool. I know a few people in Texas. So shout out to you Texans for coming up with this. And actually, what I was getting back to is if you don't have gloves, it's okay. I did some research for you. And if you do not have gloves, in order to complete this without your hands being on fire, when you're done, you can try to just wash them. You can add oil to your hands first. So any kind of oil apparently works. I've never tried that trick before. Um, I know that the lemon will get rid of the fish smell, but I, I, didn't, I didn't know that oil would get rid of the capsaicin from the jalapenos. So you can totally try oil. You can try to wash your hands off with some milk, which ironically enough is also very good when you eat something too hot. But people reach for water because that's what we're conditioned to do. If it's too hot, just drink some milk. Drink some milk. So those were the fun facts that I found today. How are you guys doing? Are y'all doing well, Miss Sue? How are you doing? I know you're getting ready to move soon. How exciting. I told Zane this morning I was so pissed off that I was like, we're going to move to Arizona. <laughs> he was like, uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. All right, so I'm going to take my little jalapeno, and I'm going to stuff it with some of this cream cheese as best as I can. I am not promising this is going to be a good thing. I know my brother-in-law, Drew, he is amazing at this. He, like, makes a little, a little cone and then just stuffs it, and he's really good at it. This might have sat on the counter just a little bit too long. And they're a little weak because they were frozen. But that's okay. We're going to get through it, just like we always do. It's like the story of my life, just getting through it. Can't come soon enough. You ready to get to all that cold in your, your home state? I wouldn't be. No way. I'm bitching enough here. Could you imagine if I, if I was to move to a Dakota? <laughs> I'm like, literally, I threw the biggest fit, you guys. I was so mad, and Zane was just like... Just gonna shut up right now. Here, mom, take this. Let's go get a snack at the store. <laughs> ah. Good stuff. Good stuff. The sun shines. Does it only? Sh I'm sure it does shine. But you have those extremes. You've got the the extreme heat in the summertime, and then the extreme winters with lots of snow in those Dakotas. So I understand. I could be totally off base here. I could be completely off base here. I don't freaking know. What do I know? The farthest east I've been is like, I went to Louisiana once. That's, that's about the extent of, of my, my east. And it was nice. It was like April and it was like 60 degrees at five o'clock in the morning. So I was totally down. Totally down. And I did pull out all these spices. I think I'm just going to throw them in the sausage that I have because that is the next, the next step in this amazing little treat. I don't even know if these, this cheese is going all the way down in here, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to kind of form it in a comb like my brother-in-law does, but again, 
I'm the, this is the very first time I have physically made these by myself. I have helped kind of, kind of. You bought a snowblower already. You're so cute. Buy a tractor too. Do you have property like that? Are you going to grow stuff? Or you just have like a little, uh, like plot? I don't even, I mean, I know what your house looks like because you sent me pictures of it, but I don't know. He, he did handlebars on the snowblower? Wow, aren't you a bougie bitch? <laughs> I love it. I'm telling you, this morning, if it wasn't for my heated seats, yeah. <laughs> uh, my hands were so cold by the time I got to work. I was pissed off. I was in a badass mood. And then at work, our power was shut off for part of Saturday. And, man... I couldn't get my computer to work. I was all pissed off about that. I was like, man, this is such the Mondayest of Mondays for me. I haven't had one of those in a super long time. So, yeah, it was some bullshit. <laughs> all right. I think we've got these all stuffed, you guys. I think they're all stuffed. All right. And again, since I've never done this, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. It's the good stuff right there. I do have my oven set to 350. We're going to cook these for like 25 to 30 minutes or until your internal temperature reads 165. Cream cheese still all over me. All over me. Still. I'm just going to switch gloves here. Get some fresh ones. Guess that's one upside. Huh? I get to... I get to, uh, we have, sometimes we have gloves that, uh, the boxes get mangled, so we can, can have some of those, which is nice, which is nice. My little friend Ida showed me that. I'll take another sip real quick. Hello, Nanny. Did you know I was talking about you? Got my trifecta here. So, of course, I'm going to throw in some of my Weber's. I guess I'll do my actual trifecta first because that might be better. My Peppa. I'm not going to do too much salt because sausage is already pretty salty. And also the bacon is pretty salty. Yeah, I ran out. Remember, I ran out of my salt. So, Miss Gail brought me some salt. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of cumin, give it that smoky flavor. I opened up the wrong side, so now i got to really concentrate, concentrate on that. And then a little bit of chili powder. And these just have gigantic holes in them anyways, this brand. Gigantic, gigantic holes in them. Which is great if you're doing a big, a big lot of stuff, but... I'm not. Just got a little bow. Just a little tiny bow. Just going to incorporate all those little spices. And again, this is just some breakfast sausage. If you wanted to rock out with some heat, heat, hot heat sausage, you do you, boo-boo. I'm not typically an extremely heat-based person. I just, I mean... I love the heat. Don't get it twisted. I just don't want that kind of heat when I'm eating. It tends to drown out the flavors that I'm looking for. So, all right, these bad boys. Not sure. Again, never done this. We're gonna make like a little patty in my hand here, and we're just gonna wrap that bad boy. I'm just going to cover it all up. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I don't know if I have enough sausage now. Shoot. I'll make it work. I always do. I actually bought this sausage so I could make myself some biscuits and gravy. Um, but then, because Zane doesn't like, shocker, biscuits and gravy, um, then I used the actual biscuits for something completely different. And was like, oh, damn, I guess I'm not getting my biscuits and gravy. It's okay, though. 
This is way more fun. Way more fun to make this. And apparently the story is that these are armadillo eggs. I've never seen an armadillo egg, so I cannot confirm nor deny that these kind of look like an actual armadillo's egg. So that's why they call them that. Those tricky Texans, you know, tricky Texans. My sister just calls them meat eggs. Isn't that right, Nanny? She just calls them meat eggs. I don't know that they actually use sausage. I feel like they use a combination of sausage and burger, which is cool. That's cool. I don't know what I'm doing anyway, so what's the difference to me? I might, I might actually call them like a dinosaur egg just because it seems fun. All right, I'm running out of sausage here, so I'm gonna try to separate this out as best as I can. I only had one little roll, one little roll of sausage. Because again, it was going to be my, my biscuits and gravy. I knew I should have done these a little sooner. That's always the problem with trying to show you guys how to do things, but I don't want to do it too soon because I don't want to mix everything and not be able to show you how I'm doing it. Yeah. It's like a, it's like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. All right, this is what I got left. So we're going to split it in half and hope it all works out for the best. It's like a six one way, half a dozen the other, I guess. I don't know. Just want to make sure you guys got as much information as possible so you can do it yourself. Because I know sometimes watching me is boring. I did have a very good birthday, though. It was honestly one of the best birthdays I've had in a, as long as I can remember, quite honestly. Miss Leah took me out for lunch this weekend. I had tons of you that wished me happy birthday, which was super amazing. I didn't have a lot of high expectations, though, so... You know, it wasn't like I was expecting some gigantic, amazing, freaking, whatever, sweet 16 type party. But it was a very good birthday. Very, very good birthday. And I felt like it just kept coming and coming and coming. It was perfect. Loved it. Miss Leah, though, she was hilarious this weekend. She hands me this card right here. And it says, a birthday is the perfect day to start a cleansing liquid diet. And then on the inside it says... Start with a glass of wine and then work your way up to margaritas. And I thought that was great. She hands it to me and she says, there's nothing in it as she hands it to me and I'm laughing. And well, I was kind of laughing. I was laughing on the inside. I was going to her house and some freaking jackass in a PT cruiser decided that they were going to pull out right in front of me without paying attention they were on the side of the road and just decided to flip a bitch right there in the middle of the road. So my heart was like skipping beats and I was all, Ugh! right? Because I came pretty close to hitting them and that was not, that was not any fun at all. So I was, I just put it in my purse and I didn't think anything about it. And then when I got home, I was like, oh yeah, Miss Leah gave me a car. And as she says, there's nothing in it. I just thought, you know, it's funny for being, quote, nothing in it. It's a lot because she thought of me on my birthday so much that she actually purchased me a card. And I thought that was very kind. All right, now I'm just wrapping this bacon around, but I have my bacon cut in half. So, and I don't have a whole batch of bacon. So I'm going to do one round first and see what I have left. We're, we're just going to play that way today. I think I might have enough to go around the other half. And if not, I guess I'm a loser. <laughs> yeah. All right. So in a perfect world, and it 
doesn't like it look like it's going to be a perfect world, which is okay. All right. We're going to have wrapped bacon. See, I, if, if I'd have been thinking about it and knew what I was going to do, I would have made sure to buy extra bacon, but I, in fact, did not. So, big shocker to y'all. I'm sure of it. So, we're just going to wrap up what we can wrap up. And again, Zane's not eating this anyway, so he could care less. He's just going to be like, why did you ruin the bacon by doing that, Mom? That's totally what he's going to tell me. I already know. All right. Well, I guess I'll just wrap these guys in the middle. They look like little sushis that way. And again, we have my oven is at 350. We're gonna go 25 to 30 minutes on these bad boys. And I think that you could totally use these as a meal. I think my sister does that. Um, you could totally use it as a meal. You could totally use it as an appetizer. Up to you either way, obviously, because you're going to be the cook. Not me. I'm going to use it as a meal tonight, though. And make Zane all puffy puffy. Excuse me, because that's what I made. So we're going to put this bad boy in this 350 oven, and we're just going to let it go. We're going to let it go and do its thing. I'm actually going to warm up the sauce that I made last Monday, because today is the last day I can use it. So if you missed last Monday's sauce, Monday morsels, it was a berry chipotle sauce. So what it brings me to is uh, Arby's. I don't know if they still do it. They had a bronco berry sauce, and it's very... To me, it's very reminiscent of that. But again, I haven't probably had the Bronco Berry sauce in like 500 million years. So I don't even know. I don't even know if that's what it tastes like anymore. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm going to find out though. As soon as these bad boys come out of the oven, I will take a picture. I don't know that I'll have a lot of space, but I'll figure it out one way or another. All right, guys. This is all I have tonight. I know we went a little bit later than normal for a Monday morsel, but there we have it. We got some armadillo eggs in the oven. I'm going to make sure I take a picture. Thank you for showing up. Keep showing up. Y'all keep doing that. So do I. Keep showing the love too. I appreciate that very much. YouTube will be updated on Thursday. Um, I'm going to write myself a note. Probably on a piece of sticky post-it paper so I remember. But I will get YouTube videos all up to date on Thursday. That is my goal from here on out is Thursdays. It's all about the YouTube videos. All right. I love you all. Have a good evening.